Hi everyone, I'm Karen Joseph with 7 Networking. Hello, hello. A quick scope before bedtime tonight. Just wanted to pop in. I haven't been on Periscope since early in the morning. This is a screenshot. Hello, the Vintage Dames. Please tell me your name. This is from our 7 Networking Business Breakthrough Challenge. Hello, Carolyn. Martha Kiefer, hello, hello with Juice Plus. How are you guys? All right, I'm going to flip this around. Talk about a very important topic right now, and it is customer service, because I had some experiences today that were not the best. Hello, Kathy and PA. Tell us if you have a business, because 7 Networking is a business networking organization. I'm passionate about helping entrepreneurs. I want to help you too, even if you don't have a business, but would love to get to know you. You guys can tap, tap, tap away at the screen and send me lots of hearts if you feel like it. Aw, oh, thank you for those pink hearts. Um, I've had a long day, so I wanted to check in with my Periscope family before I go upstairs. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Hi, Neil CF. Dory Johnson, feel free to share this if you feel like it. Thank you for those blue hearts. Just keep tapping away. Some of my seven networking members are on here. Anthony in Vegas. How are you doing tonight? And thank you for those light blue hearts. I can't wait till you start launch your business and I'll be watching your scopes too. Well, I've had a very long day. Lots of family crises going on. But I want to just come on and talk a little, hi Sue, about customer service. Because I had two very, very different uh, experiences today with customer service and I wanted to share them with you, get some feedback from you guys and give you some, maybe some tips that will help you if you have a small business. Hello, oh thank you for those, thank you for the kisses, Mwah. more to you Sue. So I had a very long day today. All right, just came home with my daughter, we went to urgent care, um, she's having some back issues and I go to a chiropractor who's fabulous, but she just is in so much pain. I needed to get her some, some meds tonight. So I went to the urgent care that's in my neighborhood because I did not want to go to the ER and sit there for hours and hours, right? We all know the ER, you could be there for, I could have been there from tonight until tomorrow morning. So went to the urgent care. Hi, Christina. Hello, hello. All my friends are on. So I went to the urgent care right in my neighborhood, and they their customer service there was impeccable. I had never been in there before. Talking about customer service, Christina. Hi, Jake's the man. How you doing, Jake? So their customer service in the urgent care was phenomenal, impeccable. Thank you for inviting followers, Sue. It was beyond belief. My daughter was very, very, very emotional today. She did not want to sit in the waiting room because she was crying. And she's a teenager. She didn't want to see other people. She didn't want other people to see her crying. They put us in a back room. Hi, Patty. How are you? They, we, I asked if we could go in the back somewhere. They put us in a back room. They were so kind. She wanted water. They brought her water. They made sure she was comfortable. They brought her a blanket because she was, you know, feeling chilled and she was shaking from the pain. When the, um, when the, when Rocky came in, uh, to take her blood pressure, her temperature, so nice. What can I do for you? How can I help you? When the doctor came in, he shook my hand. Oh, so good to see you. I'd never seen him before. So that just goes to show you the customer service tonight at Urgent Care was top notch. Will I go back there again? If for some reason someone in my family needs to go to urgent care, most definitely. I will go back there because they were kind, they were efficient, they looked at my daughter, saw she was in pain, knew that they were there to help her, and it was just amazing. If someone asks me, you know, where's a good urgent care to go, I will definitely, definitely recommend them. Then on the flip side, earlier today, thank you for those hearts. I went to pick up some um, senior portraits of my daughter, right? She's a senior this year, and I went to pick up her portraits from the portrait studio. And the portraits did come out really nice. Um, we were excited to see them. When we went to, you know, order them, hello, um, we wound up spending a fortune. They're very, very, very pricey at the portrait studio that the school sends you to, but you have to go there because... They need you to go there for the picture for the yearbook and all that other stuff. Hi, Corey. We're talking about customer service today. So I walked in there this afternoon just to pick up the pictures 
the portraits that I had already ordered. I had already paid for them in full. I had my receipt in my purse, right? So when I went to get them, the gal at the desk um, said, oh, you owe me $68. And I said, really? I said, I thought I already, hi, Rachel, how are you? I thought I already paid for these in full. And she said, nope, there's a, there's a charge on here. You owe $68, whatever. You know what? I had already paid $700. What's another $68? I was already having a day. Hey, hey, hey. So I gave her my credit card and, um, she said, say hi to you, please. Hello. So, um, I gave her my credit card and she took it. She said, okay. And then she started getting really snippy with me about a lot of things. I think she didn't like the fact that I asked why I had to pay more money because, oh, I think we're sending you to the block party, sir. Um, she didn't, I don't think she liked the fact that I started questioning her, but I knew I had already paid the full amount and I wasn't sure why she was asking me for another $68. But hi, Susie Wright. But I figured, you know what? Let me just pay it. I need to get out of here. I need to get on with my day. My daughter was in pain. I needed to take care of her. So I gave her the money, and um, then something else came up, and she said, you know, I'm going to call the woman out here that helped you with this, and she's going to explain it to you. So at that point, I was like, you know what, that's fine. So the woman came out, and she said, no, 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 that was a mistake. So meanwhile, the woman at the front desk at the portrait place was snippy snappy to me, um, had a real attitude just because I, I thought I had paid the correct amount. Now, many of us own small businesses. I own 7 Networking. My philosophy is the customer is always right. Even if the customer is wrong, you need to take care of that person, right? You need to do it with a smile on your face, no attitude. Oh, thank you for those hearts. Don't just take it, girl. Well, you know what? She refunded my money, and that wasn't even the point. The point was I will never recommend that that portrait studio to anyone I know. You know, the, the kids from school have to go there. It's required. But I'm not going to go back there because she was snippy. She had an attitude. You should always ask. You should always, that's right. You should always be able to ask questions, right? I mean, exactly. So that just goes to show you that, you know what? And I started thinking about it in customer service. And many of you who are on with me tonight are entrepreneurs. Um, Sue Urban always has a smile on her face whenever she's out and about. Um, I, I just know my friends, my seven networking friends, my Periscope friends, if someone came to you and had a question, you would answer them with a smile on your face. You wouldn't give them attitude. You wouldn't bully them, right, Sue, <laughs> like some other friends that we know or we used to know. Um, the customer is right. You're there to help the customer, right? You want them to come back, and that can really make or break your business. I am telling you. Think about it. Even if uh, we're here to take care of our... Exactly, you're here to take care of your customers. It's not about us. It is about our customers, who we're serving, how we're serving them, right? Because they have a right to be taken, to be taken care of. So think about it. People, we are tired of bad customer service here um, because we get we get it a lot, right? People, you call for help with something, you get someone a helpline in another country, you can't understand them. Time and time again, people are like, you know what? I'm not using that company anymore. So customer service is key, all right? Keep the good customer service. Smile on your face. The customer is always right. Think about it. You're not going to go back to that company even if their prices are really, really, really good, it's not worth going back. What do you think does it right? Oh, who do you think does it right? No excuses for rudeness. I think a lot of companies do it right. Um, I think a lot of small business owners, Verizon and Comcast, are horrible. Um, I've had problems with T-Mobile as well. And I have a con, you know, I keep, we have all our T-Mobile phones so I can't get, you know, it's not like I can just jump ship and go to another company. You love Outback Steakhouse. That's right. And don't you keep going back there, Rachel, because you love their customer service. Even if their prices were higher than another steakhouse that was right there, you would go back there because you've built the relationship with them. And that's what you need to do. Exactly. You're building a relationship with your, with your clients with your customers so that they will keep coming back. And you'd much rather, I'm sure, have a client or a customer for life than have someone come one time, you piss them off, and then they go on to someone else. Never had problems with Verizon. 
A lot depends on who you speak with. Well, that's true, too, because there are some great customer service reps um, out there. But I'm telling you, if you have a small business, please, 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 you know, smile on your face. Don't be rude to anyone. If someone has a question, let them ask. You build relationships, that's right, with your hairdresser, your dentist, your bartender, everywhere. Am I a consultant? I am a, I'm a networking organization owner, Seven Networking. So, and, you know, I had an issue yesterday with someone, and she wanted some money back, and I was like, you know, of course I'm going to give her the money back. You know, I asked her to cancel her, her membership so it didn't bill her again another month, but she didn't do it. So I said, sure, I'm going to refund you the money. You know, because if you do something in your business that is a little distasteful, that is going to go much, much, much farther. More people are going to hear about it than if you do something really wonderful, right? So just keep the wonderfulness going. Oh, thank you, Susan Irvin. I adore you. Keep the wonderfulness going. Keep the positivity. We're here to help our, you know, help and serve our customers and our clients. We can do it with a smile on our face, right? Make everyone feel good. And yes, Rachel. Rachel, what is your business again? I can't remember. Do you have a business? I think you do. Um, oh, thank you for those hearts, the pink ones, the blue ones. I think that's my friend Anthony in Vegas. And uh, some pink ones here, maybe from Arizona. So that is it for this evening, guys. I will be scoping tomorrow. I was supposed to do a Q&A tonight with um, a business coach who is a member of Seven because we're doing our business breakthrough challenge. You have two bars. Very cool. Where are those bars? And I'm sure you get a lot of repeat customers because I can tell, Rachel, you have that customer service down pat. You understand it. And people want to build the relationship with you and they want to come back again and again to get to know you, have that relationship. You know, it's like Cheers Bar, right? You go where people know your name. <laughs> oh, in Eugene, Oregon. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I'm sure you work really hard because owning a, you know, a business where you have to be in there and serving people like that all the time. I'm sure it's a very hard job. I give you a lot of credit, a lot of kudos. All right, everyone. Well, if anybody wants to join our Business Breakthrough Challenge, I'm going to show this to you. Please go to the 7 website. Maybe someone could type it in for me. Oh, it's right here. You could take a screenshot. Your customers are number one. Exactly. You can go right to the 7 website. W I'm glad to hear that, Rachel. S-E-V-E-N.org. Enter our Business Breakthrough Challenge. It is for any entrepreneur. If you're in Australia, if you're in the United States, if you're in Tokyo, we want you to enter this Business Breakthrough Challenge. The grand prize winner is going to get to work with a coach for five months, one-on-one -on -one private coaching with a business coach. Wouldn't that be really, really, really great to help your business soar? So please do enter. There are lots of other great prizes as well. Oh, thank you for those hearts. You guys make me feel great after a long day. Check out 77.org. We're a business networking. I'm here to help you, support you, and empower you to grow your entrepreneurial venture. All right, everyone. Have a fabulous evening. I will see you all tomorrow, bright and early, I am sure. Love you all. Bye, Sue. Have a great 7 meeting tomorrow. I hope to come up real soon. Bye. Good night, Christine. I hope the kids are sleeping. Aw, thank you, Rachel. I hope she feels better, too, Sue. It's been rough. It's hard to watch your babies cry all week. And uh, then I have my mom, so it's compounded. Everyone's in pain this week. Um, but you, you and I know we got to just keep smiling and do our thing and get through it. And we will. We are survivors. All right. Good night, everyone. Have a fabulous one. Bye, Rachel. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? I'm going to look for you. Be strong. Yes, we got to be strong, right? I know. Let's have lunch soon. You betcha. We will. All right. Goodbye. Talk to you soon. Have a great night. Sue, I finally learned how to turn this off. You'll be proud of me. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Bye-bye.